Welcome back to my channel everyone. So it's been a little while since I last made a video on this channel because I have been extra busy with life and other things. So today what we're going to be doing is fitting a dash cam mirror to my Volkswagen Caddy. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I can see Ethel out the back of these tinted windows. In fact they're not even tinted, they've got a film on it and I'm not going to remove the film because I don't want pre and eyes looking in the back of my van. So what it's going to do is sit on top of this little beast here like that and then I'm going to fit a camera at the back of the van so I've got a constant display of what's going on out the back because I'll be honest when I'm driving this I don't know what's going on all I've got is a couple of uh, four pounds blind spot mirrors from Amazon which I fitted the other week look at that for a treat on the van um, links in the description if you want some of those <laughs> also it records the front of the vehicle like a normal dash cam would so best of both worlds but what we'll do we'll open this box up take a look what's inside then we'll start ripping the van apart get it installed i'm going to be installing this the most easy way possible as in everything's going to be plug and play no wires are getting spliced nothing's getting hardwired in everything's going to be removable because one day i'll probably will upgrade or trade this van in for something new and i want to take this beast with me um let's get on with it let's open the box up and yeah do some work before we go any further but I'd just like to say I bought this at my own money. I'm not endorsed or sponsored. Buy this at your own risk if you want it. I'll put a link in the description and yeah, let's um, crack on. Look at that, 18 months warranty. That's a funny number. Normally you get like 12. And then obviously this is the manual. Take a look at that. Here is the dash cam screen. Now that is going to sit over that. Look at that, it's like factory, isn't it? Don't even have to take this mirror out. It's utilizing your existing mirror. The only thing I can see in this is my jawline or top of my forehead when I'm driving, which isn't ideal. So we've got some rubber straps. They, I assume, will go on there, then onto your mirror. Right, so we have got a GPS aerial. We've also got a plug-in, is that a USB-C charger? Go straight in your cigarette lighter. You can buy a hardwired kit separately. I'm just lazy, I don't want to do all that. And then we've got the reverse camera. Cool, look at the quality of that. They haven't scrimped on that, have they? That is looking nice and neat. We've then got the cabling for the reverse camera. This should be long enough for the caddy. I think they do an extension kit as well, from what I was reading. And then we've got, is that like a window bracket or something? So you can put the camera, if you want, on your back window to peer out. Not sure I'll be doing that though. Two screws and away we go. Oh, by the way, these have been... Oh, for fuck's sake, I, didn't, I literally didn't plan that. I got overexcited and dropped these everywhere. If you want um, a dusty slow van key tag, I've got these on my shop. The link will be in the description. Look, double-sided, no scrimping. They look great on your keys. They really do look good. Just check that. Look at the contrast. It really does bring out the best in these Volkswagen keys. Have a look, mate. Lovely job. We've also got some stickers, slow van stickers. Got a few more of these left in stock. And yeah, pretty much, um, I've just made a mess everywhere. But get online, get some key tags brought, double-sided, all stitched up, black and blue. Lovely. So now you've seen what's in the box, what I'm going to do is plan this installation because this is big works, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, right, okay, let's, let's get this clear. I am going to run the camera cable from the back of the vehicle to the front. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I can be left with more slack at the front of the vehicle. So if I want to move cable wherever, I can do. I don't want it to sat at the back, you know, and I thought it's just stupid. So we'll take this panel off here and then behind Behind that panel there should be a couple of bolts to take the number plate bracket off we'll take that off then we're going to fish the cable through the rubber loop thing from the door to the vehicle body take this off there'll be another panel behind here take this panel off take all this off and run the cable around nice and neat i'd just like to say if you're wondering why i'm dressed in spandex <laughs> i'm not i've actually just finished the gym and whilst i've got the energy i thought let's just steam in here before midday while it's sunny and get the job done so to take the stuff in out of my door, there's a few bolts. One, two, three, and maybe one there. So it could be four bolts holding this plastic trimming. So what I'm gonna do is fit the camera under here, obviously. And yeah, let's get that out. Right, it's a 10 mil socket needed on that. Right, so that's the four bolts out. What I'm gonna have to do is disconnect the wire in wherever you are, plug, and then pull it through. So that little plug there will need disconnecting and yeah. Right, so here is the little devil. I want to fit this camera sort of flush with the contour of this number plate bracket. So, sticky pad thing there. Uh, let's give it some sanitized cleaning agent. Right, look at that spotless. So, get that stuck down nicely, making sure it is straight. 
Right, my next plan of action is to drill a hole just to the right of this, and then I'll be able to feed the cable through the back here. Oh my God, that is textbook. Take a look at that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a 10 year rust prevention guarantee on that hole because I know there's gonna be certain comments. Make sure you rust proof it. Little cut out there, look like that. Lovely job. And then it's ready to be fitted back. Right, for the armchair experts, look, just put some primer in that hole. Right, now, next thing to do, I'm gonna fabric tape this onto the factory wiring and I'm gonna um, leave this end in here and then run the main cable back to the door. So if ever the camera goes faulty, all I have to do is take this panel off instead of rooting it through here and making the connection there, so to speak. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this off, this trim here, just clip out. Basically, that was a doddle. This bit just slots off of the light housing, and then you've got two screws. You can actually use a flathead for them, and then you just push the light to the left, unplug it, and boom. Right, looks like the cables go through here, and they actually sliver off to the left. I thought they were coming through here. Here we go, learn something today. So, I'm gonna probably try and slip the, the main cable through here. The neatest way to get this through is, I don't know, I'll tell you in a minute. Jesus, mate, this is becoming a proper operation. Take everything out. This one's got to come out now. Right, that panel's off, and I've pulled this rubber out down here so you can obviously feed the cable through. What I've done is get a screwdriver, just pop a hole through this rubber. Here is the connector for the camera. That's going to go through here. We're going to connect up. I'm feeling brave. I'm going to just connect it up and close all this up. I should have probably tested the camera before doing all this, but I like taking risks. Here we go, the cable is through. All I'm gonna do is tape this up so it's just protected and yeah, feed it all through here. All taped up. What I've got to do now is put that plastic housing and light back on and then put this back on and then we can start moving on to the front of the van. For you caddy guys out there, um, I've just taken this step up and if you go and knock on your grandma's door, ask if she's got a metal coat hanger and stick that up there like that because otherwise you're gonna struggle getting the cable down right change your plan peeps i'm gonna run this cable through here through that little hole down there all the way along the bottom because this is just going to be a lot easier and i've also got to drag a uh, power cable up at the same time so i might as well route everything up behind here behind the dash back up through the b pillar and we'll be laughing power cable bang there okay, so all i've done is just fish the cable behind here underneath and then we've got obviously both cables now We've got the power cable and the camera cable. Coming to the footwell of the van, I've put my trusty old coat hanger down the back there. Let's run it up all the way along to the top and we'll be sweet, mate. I've also got to put in this. I'm not sure how I feel about being tracked. I'm not sure if it's a tracker as such. I think it's just a GPS thing. So it gives like the coordinates of where the accident happened. It doesn't tell you on the dash cam you've got to actually put it in on the software with the sd card on your laptop anyway we'll put it in um it says go on the dash so i'll oh, stick it on the dash i'm not scared i'll do it mate that's about as sticky as sandpaper you ain't doing nothing that's like a bit of a non-run of that what i'm thinking if we have it like let's go here and then all the cables can run up there nice and neat all right because there's enough slack on this cable to run all the way back to china what i'm gonna do i'm gonna coil this bit up in here and cable tight wood in here nice and neat out of the way because i do not want that falling on my head when i'm driving along the m25 it's an absolutely fabulous day but i'm in here doing this and um fortunately i'd much rather be out in the sun cooking myself up i'm gonna plug the cable in now so then i know roughly what slack i need and all of those things so power cable there no video there did these lot not give me a don't think they've given me a sd card so i'm gonna have to find one i think sure i can dig one out of somewhere beautiful if i just strap this up on the back of my mirror i'll pull the cables through and we'll be laughing so put one end on just to support it for now pull that down that, nice and easy i think this camera comes out as well so you can like adjust it exactly as you wish. I just don't want to see my mirror. So that peeps looks like it's in the right place. Right, that is it. Let's power it on. Oh, hello. Right, I know at the beginning of this video I said I weren't going to splice any wires. However, it was just too easy not to. Um, I've connected the trigger wire for the reverse light into the blue and black 
for. Uh, that's what the reverse trigger is on my caddy. I'm not sure about anyone else's, so I can't confirm that. But if you see here, if I stick it in reverse, bang. And to be honest, that's mainly what I was after anyway, is a reverse camera. So happy days. Um, I'll quickly show you the connection. So there's a blue and black cable that runs right to the back of the van, to the reverse light. All I've done was slice a bit of sheathing off and then just wrap the cable around it, it's fine. Bit of tape on there, she's lovely. Right, okay, so I'm all cleaned out in the van, everything's all back to normal, and I've just stuck an SD card, a micro SD card, in the unit. So here we are, you can see on here. I'm sorry if my camera doesn't do the picture justice, but one thing I can say, it is very clear. I've got like this mode on here where you can just like switch from front camera to back one, obviously for when you're driving or whatever. Uh, I kind of like the split screen, I don't know why, but obviously it's personal preference. The other feature, obviously when I stick the van in reverse, uh, the benefit of having the uh, reverse cable connected is obviously get them little lines there that give you some sort of guide when you're reversing. Now, the next thing, right, if we go into settings and then like you've got all your bits up there, you can set, you know, what resolution, 1080p or 720. You've got like a movie clip time, that's how long the loop record we would do you can turn sound on or off for my own benefit i've turned that off and then you've got like driving mode i think that's where it puts the screen onto like a picture of a car and it just goes dark so the screen blacks out and then general settings you can do it to beep how high you want it to beep speed unit if you want kms or if you want a uh, mile per hour gps time sync got that on date format automatic review that's obviously when it's on it will go straight to the rear camera when you put your sd card in you've got to format it i probably made a bit of a mistake in the fact that i've got this plugged into the cigarette lighter because my caddy keeps power to the cigarette lighter even when you lock the doors uh, i'm not sure if that's the same for every caddy uh, you're best off checking to see if it's if it does then then it might be better if I buy the uh don't want to tell me what's going on over here. <laughs> She's like trying to hoist her mate over the wall. Um <laughs> if what I was gonna say. Go on girl, you can do it. <laughs> if they see me recording, I'm in trouble, aren't I? <laughs> Um, anyway, what I was going to say, so I'm probably better getting the hardwired kit for my van and the reason being is when I turn the ignition off it will then turn the power off to the camera and then, you know, I don't have the camera constantly on. Otherwise, I'm having to hold the button at the minute like that just to turn it off and I'm going to have to do that every time and it's going to get quite frustrating. For some reason, I assumed my caddy turned the power off to the cigarette lighter, but it doesn't. Um, I might even be able to jig that myself so I don't have to buy the, the hardwire kit but anyway that's uh, another story I'll leave a link in the description for all the bits overall I'm gonna be honest I'm very happy with it especially for the money I paid 135 pounds on Amazon for this and I think for that money uh, what you get is really good obviously you get a rear camera so you can see where you're reversing if you're like me and you can't see out the back of your van uh, I think that's a really good feature and also when it's off the screen does reflect back of the vehicle so I can use this as a normal mirror as well at the end of the day for what I need this for I drive a lot do a lot of mileage and I come across quite a few idiots on the road and if it can save you time just by having the proof if something does happen then all well and good. Uh, the little niggle I don't like about this is the SD card bank is up here. So like to get it in there, it's quite tight. You just got like, you haven't got any fingernails. I mean, I've barely got any. Um, it's quite hard to get in and out when you need to take your recordings off. You will have to put it into your computer, download the software for Windows or Mac, depending on what operating system you use. Uh, I've got a Mac, so I haven't played around with the software yet, but I'm pretty certain it's easy to get your head around. So yeah, that's it for this video. I need to go get some food i need to get changed i need to have a shower i need to do all these different things but thanks for watching much appreciated don't forget i'm going to take this out nice and gently this time stickers if you want them slow down one and also we've got the key tags these are actually nice i'm going to show you them again i really like these double-sided i didn't skimp on them nice material perfect and it burns um i think that's it for this video thanks for watching